Well, I got our 16S 60 volt battery. The negative end, let's see right here, kind of tucked back in to the case. Really can't take all the credit. It just let it sit for a couple of days and pretty much shrunk about halfway down in there. And then I just gave it a little extra persuasion, I guess you would say. And it is back to about nine inches. And this is the negative side. It was nine and a half before. And then our positive side is also showing about nine inches. And then also I've been monitoring it. And as of this morning, that's what our voltages look like and compared to yesterday morning really not far off so I've got our uh, charge port connected up I'm gonna check up connect up the charger and monitor it of course see how it does Here's some details on the charger. It's a UE model UY900. It's 90 to 130 volt AC input. It's for the LIMN batteries, like we have. And 60 volt and 10 amp. Alrighty, let's connect our charge plug up and then we'll plug it in and before we do anything the battery pack is sitting at 53.7 volts and I'll leave the multimeter hooked to it to monitor it while it's charging alrighty got the charger plugged in and it jumped up to 55.6 volts Uh, 55.8, 55.9. Alrighty, I'll monitor it and we'll go from here. And it's been about 15 minutes. We're up to 59.8 volts. Everything still looks okay. Alrighty, we have a green light. And according to this, it means charged. Our meter says we're up to 65 point, let's say eight volts in our battery pack. This is the negative end. Doesn't look much different. And I got the manual here to come with the charger. And it is set to charge the 16S up to 66.5 or 66.4 with all the other details, 900 watt, but 66.4 and we're up to 65.8. So, is that a capacity difference? Hmm. Okay. Well, we've got her charged up, so we'll move on to the next. 